He promised us that whenever we gather in his name, he shall be in our midst. We don't have a shade of doubt that Jesus is with us. He's here with us. Hallelujah. To give us fresh power, fresh anointing, fresh unction. So that we continue to trail blaze to move forward. And I declare that nothing will slow your pace. I announce nothing will slow you down. Spiritually, you will continue with great power. In general life, you will make a good progress. Financially, you will keep on acquiring. Financially, you will keep on breaking through. You will never go down. Because your father is the most high God. Declare prophetically, say I will never go down. Say I will never go down. Say, I'm not going down due to COVID-19, but I'm continuing strong because my father is my backup. He is with me and is leading me to victory day after day. Say, thank you, my father. You are going before me even this week, leveling every mountain, breaking down gates of bronze, cutting through bars of iron, destroying all even maneuvers of the evil one in the name of jesus you are giving me breakthrough after breakthrough i'm moving forward propelled by the anointing propelled by the blessing of jehovah el shaddai adonai elohim jehovah jireh the lord my provider by my god i am moving forward Say, by my God, I am breaking through. By the backup of Jehovah, I am winning every step of the way. Say, by the backup of Papa God, I am breaking through. Say, by the backup of Jehovah, enemies are scattered. Say, because the Lord is with me, those who rise up against me, they are scattered. Oh, hallelujah praise the name of the lord thank you so much once again for soldiering and braving it enough by coming into the house of the lord in this day of great fear because we are in unprecedented times now let's quickly go to the isaac scenario there's something i want to show us there very quick um, the blessing that came upon him and he's working. I want to tie the two. And I believe the Holy Spirit by his mercy will help me so that you get something very strong out of what I'm going to quickly share. God said to him, you remember in verse 3, Genesis 26, stay here as a foreigner in this land. So the man actually was allowed go by God to dominate a foreign land. Oh, I pray that God will allow you to invade foreign places. 
May God allow you to invade foreign spaces in the name of Jesus. He said, I will be with you and I will bless you. And he said, I hereby confirm that I will give you all these lands to you and your descendants, your children, your children. Note that God is promising the men and also promising who? The children. So the vision of God is to bless me and my children, to bless you and your children. I declare you are blessed. I declare your children are blessed. I declare the God of Isaac will bless you and will bless your children. We'll soon find out why did God commit himself to this. He said, just as I promised Abraham your father, I will cause your descendants to become as numerous as the stars of the skies and I will give them all these lands. You see, God is saying I will help your children to acquire other people's lands and territories. I declare may your children acquire other people, possess and take over other people's territories may your child be a child of dominion in the coming years in the name of Jesus and he said through your descendants and through your descendants all the nations of the earth will be blessed verse 5 please pay attention there because that's the key that's where we are we are taking off from hallelujah he says I will do this because Abraham your father listened to me and obey all my requirements commands decrees and instructions hallelujah i will bless you because your father write the statement down every parent in the house i can do things today that can make my children to my child to prosper tomorrow hallelujah. i wonder what you are busy doing i told you in the two weeks in the past two weeks that whatsoever you are doing now is determining your future outcome Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So, now, until you appreciate verse 5, you will not understand verse 12. The man then swung to action. After God assured him, I will be with you, I will bless you. Was your suguma Isaac went and jan watati action? Went and jani watanyela. Let me repeat to all of you for your benefit. God does not give you money. He gives you the power to get it. The blessing is not something you see with your eyes. The blessing is what produces prosperity. Am I helping you? For me and for you and those watching us to prosper easy, make sure you have the blessing. The blessing that will cause you to prosper. Now this takes me to a very, very crucial matter that I want to explain to you. Because you can take it for granted. Isaac Isaac typifier to an individual who is a believer in God at Kali business. Not every believer who starts a business starts a successful business, right or wrong? There are many believers who have started things that never succeeded. But Isaac started something that prospered. The Bible says after the man sowed in that same year, he, he harvested a hundredfold. And we are told why he harvested a hundredfold. It says because the Lord blessed him. Why did God bless him? He blessed him because of what he promised his father Abraham. Why did God promise Abraham the blessing? He promised Abraham the blessing because Abraham was a man who practiced covenant, covenant principles. He didn't just bless it. That's why in verse 5, Uti because your father obeyed my commands, listened to my instructions carried out my statutes. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Now I'm going to bring out something that is going to blow your mind. On the natural terms, Isaac was suguma, wa brainstorm, he stood up, he thought out strategies. Holy Ghost winning strategies. Washanyela because he realized that if, if he could have stocks of corn, maize meal, people are going to be looking for it. I wisdom, young bitter, young bitter, nana nawe. Guti for you to always be able to generate good money, secure things that are that people are going to run for. Offer services that are essential. Secure products that are essential. By essential we mean products on demand. Hello, we are speaking on the natural terms. Lengo taya shanyela. Ya vune makoko ke masaga tingoloba netembi. Ya makini la hapo na ufast forward ya verse 19. He dug wells. Wakupe mandi. Ube mandi bega nga Hallelujah. I believe that's where we go the idea of the boreholes of today. He dug wells. So the men had scarce commodities of the day. Water was scarce, he had it in abundance. Maize was scarce, maize meal, corn was scarce, he had it in abundance. He had crops, he had food. He was a food supplier, the price regulator. Oh, I pray for you. May you secure a deal that will give you money. May you secure a commodity that you will sell and make good money. May the God of Isaac prosper you. May the God of Isaac bless you. In the name of Jesus. So the men took action. Let's look at what happened. God blessed the blessing that God pro promised to him or pronounced on him. Produced the prosperity by way of the men harvesting a hundredfold plenty of plenty of, of, of corn and also securing plenty of water. Even when they tried to what in our trolle I came under Are you understanding me? But what caused all this? The blessing. Palapas. The blessing. The blessing is what causes the work of your hands and everything you undertake to prosper. Are you understanding me? Everything you undertake to succeed. You are not getting it. When you begin to work, the working becomes the channel through which God blesses you. That's why you must never, when you are a Christian, stop seeking for opportunities. Opportunities that have got potential for making money for you. If you don't have a job, never stop looking for that job. Because when you are a Christian, the blessing ensures that you ultimately break through. When you have the blessing, the blessing ensures that whatever you do ultimately, ultimately succeeds. Hallelujah. Matthew 7, 7, it's a standard for every Christian. Just as Isaac looked for opportunities in that foreign land, look for opportunities during this COVID-19 situation. Some of you, you've been disturbed by COVID. But Matthew 7, 7 is there. What does it say in the Amplify? It says, ask and keep on asking. Hmm? Seek and keep on seeking. Knock and keep on knocking. Can you see it? Eh? Ask and keep on what? Asking. Seek and keep on what? Seeking. Can you see that doing it and keep on doing it? That's where many Christians fail. When you want to ultimately get your breakthroughs, the secret is to keep on doing it. Amen. Write it down. Whether it's prayer, keep on praying until you break through. Whether it's giving and tithing, keep on giving and tithing until you break through. Are you understanding me? It's a standard of this kingdom. Galatians 6, 9 says, don't get tired of doing what is right. Because at the proper time, you reap a harvest. It happened to Isaac. 
He dug the first well. They came and argued with him. He called it Isaac. Argument. He dug another one. They came and argued with him. Contention. He called it Sidna. And then, and then he went again and dug another one in verse 25. And they didn't come to argue with him. He called it Rehoboth. The Lord has made room enough for me. If he gave up a Sidna, was he going to reach Rehoboth? Tell your neighbor, then very quick, but Kapasa must you give up too soon. Well. You have to keep on pushing, 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 pushing until you break through. Can I talk to you? You have to keep on pushing, pushing, pushing. Do like me say, pushing, pushing, pushing. You have to keep on pushing, pushing, pushing. If you lose it here, go to the next opportunity. If you lose it here, keep on moving. You lose this job, look for another one. You fail here, try elsewhere. Did you hear what I've said? You fail here, do what? Try elsewhere. Verse 8 of Matthew 7 says, Everyone who asks, they receive. Everyone who seeks, they find. Everyone who knocks, a door is open. So it's all about your never giving up. Did you learn something? Did you learn something? Now I'm going to speak something that is very controversial. Say yes, yes I'm sure. Many people, you see, Isaac, I'm going to share with you something maybe you've never even seen in your Bible. Isaac prospered because God blessed him. The blessing that made Isaac to prosper is not the general blessing. Write these things down. Blessings in the Bible, they've got dimensions. Did you hear what I've said? They've got what? That's why the Bible that tells us in that Isaac story, it says the man began to prosper. If you look verse 13, see verse 13. He began to prosper and continued to prosper. Look at it in the new King David. King James. Why did he begin to prosper? The clue is on the last line of verse 12. He harvested a hundredfold because the blessing was active. There was a blessing active over the life of the man. I need to trouble myself to find out how can I cause the blessing that will cause me to prosper in the work of my hands and even in this ministry to be active in my life, to be active even over my children. We have to look deep in this matter. Everyone was crying. The man was prospering against all odds. There's no rain. The man is prospering. He prospered until the head of state, King Abimelech, came with his army commander. The army commander, Picol, they came to Isaac. They said, your blessing is troubling us. In my palace as head of state, I can't sleep because of your prosperity. Oh, I pray and I prophesy. May God, the God of Isaac, the God of Abraham, the God of Israel, may he cause you to break through so that your God is a mighty God. Oh my God. They shall say, the Lord has done great things for you. The Lord has shown you his power. Hey, can you imagine when I saw it, I started praying in tongues. Linda Kustaka Payanda Kamasana. Prosperity that troubled the heads of state. He didn't come to attack him. They came to make a covenant to say, We want to be connected with you. Oh, I declare people who met her will want to connect with you. The God of Isaac, the God of favor, the God of mercy, He will help you. Oh my God, what come down in your dimension? Nyanos nenging amna na COVID. Aksebende giti not matima. I business iconic flow agate. Ema border valley wam travel ishegi. But the God of Isaac 
will cause you to break through against all odds. Let me prophesy. Let's see the men begin to prosper. Wapumele la vumatima. Simo semnoto sisibi. Nyatandaza may God help me and you to prosper na na COVID. Sipumele la vumatima. Who break it through better in the name of Jesus. But bagulaya ofu twani nguza nguza M7. Who shot in his cat COVID. Nambo na che Jehovah, umling is Isaiah, not in a woof of Angosi Uzia, Nambo, not Jehovah. In the days of coronavirus, the Lord showed me favor. May the Lord show you favor. May the Lord show you favor. May you pray through. Yes, Kasma Pere would tie me up, Petella, but want to break her through. But want to break her through by the blessing and the favor of El Shada. Isaac. This is where Christians make a problem. Isaac was pumelela because of a covenant of sacrifice that his father made with God. That even translated into him dominating in the land of the Philistines was as a result of Genesis 22, verse number 19. Hallelujah where God, after God, offered Isaac as a sacrifice. God shouted from heaven. He said, Abraham, 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 don't touch the lad. Don't kill the boy. Now I know. Now I realize. Hallelujah. That you are committed to me. And he said to him, yeah. In blessing, I will bless you. Yeah. So, I will cause your children to possess the cities of their enemies. So, see, I said, I am not going to be able to bang in the seven days of the Yeah. With what we do today. But quickly, because time is not with me, and I believe Holy Spirit is going to help me. Utilapa, don't lay your hand on the boy, the angel said. Do not hurt him in any way, for now I know that you truly fear God. You see, you have not withheld from me even your son, your only son. Look at verse number 13. And then Abraham looked up and saw a ram caught in, in the thicket, so he took that ram and sacrificed it. Verse number 14. Abraham named the place Yahweh, which means the Lord will provide. Oh, I declare God will provide for you during this COVID-19. Let's go to verse 15. That's, that's the key verse I want to see. Then the angel of the Lord called out to Abraham from heaven. Verse, verse 16. This is where the real matter is. He said, this is what the Lord says. Because you have obeyed me and have, have not withheld your, your son, your only son. I swear by my own. Niatifunga. I'm Elohim. This is what the Lord says. Look at verse number 17. I will certainly, I'm going to, this is a revelation. I will certainly bless you. Write this revelation that Holy Spirit gave me many years ago when I was struggling. When you begin to offer to God special offering and sacrifices, the offering guarantees your getting. Amen. Did you hear what I've said? The offering and tithing guarantees what? Your getting. He said, I will certainly I will certainly multiply your descendants beyond number, like the stars in the skies and the seashore. Your children or your descendants will conquer the cities of their enemies. Today, the Israelites, the Jews are living in Palestine, in, in Israel. It used to be the land of the Canaanites. They took over other people's country and land by the power of covenant and sacrifice. Are you understanding? I said in Kakela, if you understand, so many people come to my office. I figure I said, Lala, story, Atibabe. Eh. When I try this, I don't break through. When I try this, I don't break through. Oh, Holy Spirit, have mercy on me. I need to help you. This is the mystery of the kingdom. When I try this, I don't break through. 
Mbaba tema bengi ya tandaza. Aku vule ni ya tandaza. Msebenda angutolo. Ni ya tandaza. Angshati ni ya tandaza. Angutolo. You see. There are two covenants that govern this earth. Two covenants. The first covenant. Is the covenant of our redemption. The covenant layer was established by God. By sacrificing Jesus on the mountain of Golgotha. This covenant that God made, he made it by sacrifice. Because a covenant can never be established without a sacrifice. A covenant is a binding agreement between two people. So Abraham offered Isaac on Mount Moriah. In that mountain today, that's where Solomon ended up building the temple. The temple was built exactly where Abraham over Isaac. Because God works by altars and sacrifice. An altar is where divinity and humanity transact. An altar is built by a man here on earth, established by a man here on earth, is a, is, a, is a meeting point for striking deals. An altar is, in, is supposed to be initiated by a human being. The realm of the spirit steps down to assist Ban Lam Shaben by reason of an altar. God does not move if there's no altar. Now, Loguzi, the reason I'm saved today, you'll be shocked. I'm a product of an altar and sacrifice. God raised an altar at Golgotha. The sacrifice was Jesus. Out of that transaction, God established a covenant of our salvation. Manje Bazalon Ebendi mistake. They want to begin to prosper financially, materially, relationally using God's covenant and sacrifice. It can't work. The sacrifice of Jesus at Golgotha was a specific covenant, specific sacrifice to secure a specific thing. Logu sacrifice of Jesus at Golgotha was secure a blessing. But the blessing that it secured for us is not blessing for material things acquisition. It's a specific blessing. Ephesians, in Gosiami, I think things as Kazal and Phil. Ephesians 1 3 says, Blessed be to God who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings, spiritual, underline spiritual. You can't get a job by the blood covenant. Sacrifice. The Jesus blood covenant sacrifice on the altar of Golgotha. Le enda tsi ngulungula be ne covenant nat. Le o covenant ni ole se that is sinsis. So that sacrifice gives us four things. Write them down. Uto ege la tere mto ba lisa tsi ngbatsi ngi atanda zi wende glut. Number one, the sacrificing of Jesus by God on the altar of Golgotha, it secured for us forgiveness of our sins. Huh? Forgiveness of what? Our sins. Through what? Through the blood that was offered on the altar of Golgotha. Number two, it secured for us the right to receive the Holy Spirit. He sacrificed a covenant by sacrifice. What is an altar, Jehovah? The altar lam nigga something lebe gakfun. Ngalom shachelo akeno nigga langa chesu tola tin. Number three, the sacrifice and the altar of Golgotha secured for us the right to be called children of God. Sa ato up to us a let for embusu and wangulgul. Now funza Colossians 1.13. It says giving thanks to God 1.12. Who has qualified us. Sa qualify wa nle covenant by sacrifice. So na muta. Si bitu wa usu wa sbanvana bangulungul. Akuzange mane gwendega kwa nigelwa. Oh Lord have mercy. 
Another man comes to my office. We are kind of frustrated. What's a possibly at this end in New England? There's not melon, and we never say you're not gonna not melon, and you never say you're not gonna. I'm tired. Get him there. Your problem is this you are trying to prosper without a covenant of prosperity. Before you start something, whether it's a business or you want to build a home or you want to get a big job, a good job or you want your children to do well, the first thing to do after you are a Christian is to establish a covenant of prosperity with God. You strike a deal with God. Are you understanding me? So I said to him, listen, brother, what you need to do from now, every project that you undertake, raise an altar for it. Offer to God a special sacrifice with specific terms and requests to say, as I release this offering unto you, Jehovah now release the offering ya calling Jesus who told us in our sins is a Nkelangale sacrifice and offering Lingenda Gung Tole Nagunanako. Are you understanding? Some people will say, but Pastor Mine Angna Loto, God is a God of principles. Hannah wanted to get somewhere. She didn't have anything to give at that time. So, wasik funds. This is a principle which Lento now saying and now you can do what is called a promissory sacrifice covenant. You tell God, the first salary is yours. It's a promissory covenant. God is not Father Christmas. He loves all of us with agape love, unconditional love. But he doesn't give all of us the blessing for prosperity. Did you get that? We are all blessed. Look into a Jesus Moses with spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. It is salvation. You can't see it. It is spiritual. You just confess it, it has happened. It is the Holy Spirit. He comes in. You can't see him, but he has come. It is your right to be a child of God, but you don't have a literal identity that says you are a child of God. It's spiritual. He has blessed us with all spiritual. So you will not get material things by a spiritual blessing. The spiritual blessing that was secured by the blood of Jesus' sacrifice will never give you promotion at work. Niabona to soya understand. A kuna ban bam tu bangulungu. We have una tandas as a pukle makwe. Bumbonesega again or to be the mobile lento sola and deck. We are manga la god. I mean I've done my part. I made my own sacrifice to save you, to qualify you to get my Holy Spirit, to qualify you usike bengu inginga. Nga patala kuse tu kukuge. We again ba inginga sporti. Ube ngumtana wa my paid. When I saw fna pumele nga patala wa wupi. Are you learning something? So, if salvation has happened to us through the sacrifice called Jesus and his blood, we got the blessing of salvation. Because being holy will not cause you to prosper. Being good will not cause you to get a job. Listen, holiness, righteousness, <laughs> and salvation gives you license to go to heaven when you die. Holiness gives you license to be heard by God when you pray. Holiness does not give you prosperity. Guti lunge lange gwendu pumelele. Am I helping someone? At your level, when I got saved, I I got saved with all my heart. I had to change. But financial prosperity never came. 
for five years five years i was struggling to clear some debts five years ngimtsanza ngulungulu ntanda zange tilim let serious capital letter kuzaya kimanda yabo lento ngikhuluma ko lena wanga ivha yona ngeza tanda ntsathi moti ngiyobhaket ntsabe ngimbute ngulungulu sengi wakho akuvulekileni one day a voice came what i saved you with the sacrifice yeah. open your doors with your own sacrifice mama yeah. that was a turning point of my life yeah. i remember i wrote a check out of my business account good ya ka email nga balance check la 5000 now nikela to another man of god that god told me what if you want things to turn around is by sacrifice now ufuna le mphumelelo the physical prosperity le ala mhlabeni kuvunywa ndivo le tindle kutsandwa abantu uthuli nje seba kushadile kanzi uyabona uya nanga khulunye maqiniso uyabona works never produce The problem many of us are praying serious prayers on an empty altar. Did you hear what I said? Yes. We are praying what? Serious prayers where on an empty altar. Praying in the mountain, I'm a mountain man. It never gave me money. I'm a mountain man. I never came down to get financial breakthrough. The only time financial shift happened is after i drop something on the altar so from today pray yes that is very important have faith in god yes that is very important but for you to begin to experience financial breakthroughs relational favor lokuthi la uqhamuka khona umvela bajabule it happens by the blessing that causes one to become rich it's a particular blessing ebazalwa nini nifundza njani bible have you wondered why st paul in second corinthians 9 verse number 7 he says god loves cheerful givers he loves all of us but he loves in a special way those who are givers god loves us angis doesn't he love us but the same bible that tells us god loves us it then tells us god loves cheerful givers write the statement down out of that verse for you to have the special favor of god operating in your life practice giving special offerings to god i will repeat for you to have god's special favor hovering over your life just like isaac the favor the blessing that causes one to prosper because the blessing that causes one to prosper it's a special favor for you to have that special favor bantu baye tinyangeni ibazalwa apheti briefcase athi nzi moti tigule ngemuva ede ne briefcase kubinze ema 200 kwende nje ahlale mbikwa kwa heceba ngibonela ukwenyanga ukuthi lishoba kancane ukuthi ibheke laphasi ukuthi lishoba li alta uto khwebula lo muntu emandla evele lingabonakala 1 2 3 ubona lo muntu unyom le mabhasi wathengisa ko mafethi hayi kuthi kwamane kwenteka 
the altar la rezele galo heke ba lega mshabi alinga linyagati satindo. Ungene pangek chuluge lo manager kusebenda lel altar. When I now say figure back singum kaya because you've you've got no kutelen to lek support tag. Ulula. Washo Daniela, a chilling gospel shaza watu kaliwe, watulaga lulula. Because what makes you to be heavy on earth are the heavy sacrifices you have given to God. Uba heavy. Uti Jesu banba lo mshaba wa shagan pegwe njula, bantu be mbuzi yo kanyi. Luke 16.8, when I saw that verse I shivered, uti mahede na shagan pegwe njule makolo. But James too, principles. principles. Because you don't have to operate. Who began a thinking and a thinking operating and then don't matter. It grieves me when I see men behaving like boys. In what I had that in the good out, Kong one a time. Men don't behave like boys. Anything, Bazalwan, I'm telling you. Ninjela long over saga, and because I just be a big access and answer the year and says, Yeah. But as long as you have not bobos who break it through, your sacrifices must speak for you. Are you understanding? Abe, but what Abe la wa nigela a more excellent sacrifice, and God looked at him with favor. He looked at his sacrifice, and he looked at him with favor. That should tell you what God's special eyes are looking for those who will honor him with a sacrifice. That's why in Psalm chapter 50 verse 5, these are my winding comments. God says in chapter 50 verse 5, I can see all these Christians, thank you very much. Chapter, Psalm 50 verse 5 in the New King James, 50 verse 5. He said, gather together for me those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Meaning, but to South Africa, and she didn't build a band of a man. Ufian glanced at him the Bernie business lender, big men who went to eat for Lenny Tender Bang and Muga, Mio Sainan, Aksasa, Sangi, Will the Bang and Muga. It's him there are these projects of your covered by covenant sacrifices or what? Connections are good, but man by Chigala and Gulagula Chigala. He will scatter all behind the scene maneuvers if you are a man and a woman of sacrifice. Are you understanding? The message is not for every Christian. Are you understanding? Nga shola, it's a disclaimer. I'm helping Laban, Laban ale passion. You, we have one, ngoba asfanan. Kolo mundu jenaga ne ma banjila ma bili, eh. Ma shetlang tu, se skatulo nel tegi. Nala fisha fisha konin shogo se ikrosinyan. All right. Very all right. It's good. Nel pae pele a shot bonne langa loglona. But if you want to be someone who will make impact, you need to be a man and a woman of sacrifice. The devil fights it because it is the only act that paralyzes the devil. Givers are unstoppable. Givers are getters. Givers are unstoppable. Whatsoever you want as I conclude, be to sacrifice for it. That's why when you read Psalm chapter 20 verse number 3 I'm sure. Let's see. May the Lord remember all your sacrifices. You see. May the Lord first what? Remember all your sacrifices. Verse 4. Then May he now grant you all the desires of your heart. Why? Because he has seen and remembered your sacrifices. Which means, by the principles of the kingdom, no giving equals no getting. 
Ubuati could see there are people who are very good preachers, very good. But the demon will born and come galap. Bawa koshima demoni ba when that demangalis or the demangalis. But to tell it my line full. Because you see, when I pray their mountain for 40 days and 40 nights, I get power to come and preach with power and scatter demons. But praying and fasting does not give you financial grace. What gives you financial grace is giving. Luke 6, 38, give and it shall be given. Ezekiel 44, 30, it's a verse every parent must take home. If you've got children and a home. There's a mystery there in the New King James, Ezekiel 44, 30. God is, says the best of all your first fruits and of any kind and every sacrifice of any kind from your sacrifices you shall present it before the priest the same way to activate some things now men of God with your sacrifice look at what God says shall be the priest. You shall give to the priest the first of your ground meal. Look at the last line. Abalende, abal highlight el bail. La lela. Le blessing your salvation has already come. E blessing ex nana kanaka in the near kelul. Nitin your condes kulwin. Basheshebani ve. La balaban okanazelago. Bangan kutuz. Uya uluzan zegbing. Boyo konda samwe ba good liman. Utengi mo tu tengi mo le nengi Buying the car without the blessing. You see, la pa ang full silbuge nel verse literal. Ngoba literal ni shokti lete man first fruit gim. Ni shokti lete offering ya kole kuti gim. But if na si tike si harvest si clean the principle. God is saying, the moment you package a good sacrifice or offering and you present it before a spiritual authority in general terms, no mugwenda uli hete no gwende mbigwe nyanga. Kune principle. Le sendo le so senda uti wena matupa le sendo. Si causes activate. A blessing. We are born as the vessel in shock to the blessing. It's not a general blessing. It's a blessing. It means it's designated. It's a blessing for me. It's not our blessing. It's a blessing. It's a because someone triggered it. It's a because someone activated it. It's a particular blessing for that individual who did the principle. It rests upon your house. Rest upon your career. Rest upon your business. Hallelujah. 